Hello everyone, my name is Briscooter Scooter as always, and you may be wondering, what am I doing? Well, I found a little gem. I found a little gem of a game on the uh, Xbox, or not the Xbox, on the Steam Market the other day. And yes, it is very anime-ish. Anime, 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 whatever you want to say. It's... It's called Chantelise, and I'm trying to concentrate. I need to go... I want to go in here really quick. Oh, you do have stuff I can equip. Oh... Yes, want that. Wow, okay. Okay, yeah, there was a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a very fun, uh... It's a very fun RPG-like game. That's more action-based, like it's... Like, you go over the overworld, and I'm gonna equip some of this new stuff I just got. I can't open a third one. Damn. Actually, I wonder if I, I can't use that for my, uh... Spellcaster there. <clears throat> okay. I wish we'd have known about this before I before I continued on. <laughs> Okay, never mind. So yeah, uh, basically, this is a little game that I found. It's I'm just gonna say it, kind of put it out there, just for those of you that are skeptic about it. It's a good game. It's just that it has that anime look about it. And I also made this video because I also made this video because I want to welcome the new people, all the new people that have recently located my channel. So this is kind of like a special hello and welcome to the channel kind of video. Um, that's really most of the thing I wanted to do. Um, this game is rather new. Uh, I just want to talk about something quick. This game is rather new so I probably would not LP it right away. But if you guys would be interested in seeing a full LP of this game uh, down the road, let me know. Not that one. There. Not that one. <laughs> but yeah, I I totally consider it. It's got a Legend of Zelda feel to it. I got two hammer balls. It's very uh, yeah. It's an RPG. You can obviously tell it's got RPG elements. It's very base comes to combat. One button is all your mag is all your attacks. One button is all your uh, <clears throat> excuse me. One button is all your spell casting. You can lock onto your targets like in, just like in Legend of Zelda. Quick hammer ball. And you can make short work of enemies just by casting grand spells. Uh, just quick. Basically, how it works is you you need to attack foes in melee in order to take to grab gems. Gems are pretty obvious as to what they give for the most part. Once you uh, once you play for a little bit, it'll, it'll come pretty easy to you what they do. Like the red is fire, the yellow is a shield slash hammer ball, the green is a lightning shield, blue is water. I think I'm missing one, but you can also combine spells. I don't think I can make a co make a combination with this. I guess I can. I can make a multi-water bolt. There are... Uh, the, in, <laughs> the enemies are a little dumb if you couldn't tell. You can combine spells to either have them do more damage, multiply themselves, or just do more damage, period, multiply themselves, or even buff you, like this combo I've got right here, the uh, double yellow. If I hold Y for magic and give myself I can give myself super armor. Basically, I don't flinch and I take less damage. And there's a critical hit, which, if I did not say, there are critical hits in the game. 
So yeah, it's a nice game to experiment with. There's kind of, unfortunately, you can't really uh, adjust how your gems are set up once you pick them up, so you have to kind of plan that part out. So those of you that are in, into the planning part of RPG, there you go. Oh hey, another gem. Green slime. And you can go into gems. Um, You can jump in this game too. There's a dodge command as well, which is attack and jump. It works pretty well. It's not like you have to be perfect on your timing with it either, so. I'm not gonna lie, Hammerball's probably my favorite probably my favorite spell to cast in this game. Right after it's water. Oh, I miss I missed some gold. And, uh, as you can see with the tree here, are, there are treasures to gather on here. Basically, basically, you can equip yourself how you like. Certain items add magic power, certain time, certain items add attack, like I have leather gloves for attack. And some of them are multi-equipped, as you can see. Uh, no, I want to just leave. And I just, you know, I really like kind of games like this that are RPG, but they don't force you to big turn-based combat. You can kind of, I still have to defeat a group of enemies to pass through. Yeah, it gives you a map. The red dots are always enemies, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Gotta, yeah, oh yeah, water. There we go. Get my water back. And something that you will notice about this game is that it uses a lot of, uh, of ja original Japanese voice acting with English subtitles, so that's your kind of thing. More power to you. Well, I, I, I don't want to give away too much about this game yet, about this game. Thus, I just kind of picked up on a random, one of the first and random levels. Health. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and just end this off here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this kind of little demo for it. I'm pretty sure the fantastic Mr. Total Biscuit is going to follow me up later this week and talk about it himself, but eh, I'll be there to watch it myself. Anyway, folks. Um, oh, yes. Before I end off, something I want to talk to you about is... If you like if you like all all the games I pl I'm playing like this one for example or if you're liking the Pokemon and Sonic and Sonic side LPs make sure you check out the Golden Sun LP that's the one I do on a daily basis ouch ah, damn it God bless it so yeah make sure you check out the main LP of Golden Sun Lost Age and it's a uh, well its predecessor Golden Golden Sun which are still up and in the play and, and organized to active playlists. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and sign out here. So until until tomorrow, guys, when Golden Sun and Sonic Adventure go up, I'll see you then. <laughs>